What is happening, y'all? Let's pick back up where we left and continue deeper into the depths. Let's take a break from now, Raven. Let's take a break indeed. Underground exploration, 330,000, and I found a rather interesting looking booster. And some gloves. Of course, the one time I'm like, we gotta wrap up. They talk a lot. Game hits me with the no new messages. Underground exploration depth three. Destroy the core of the subterranean facility reactor and disable the laser barrier. I mean, based on enemies destroyed. Let's do it. Back to work, 621. Depth 3 is next, and it's where our intel gets sparse. It's an underground cave, blocked at the end by a high-powered laser barrier. As long as it's in operation, no one's getting any deeper inside. Which brings me to the job. Is powered by a massive reactor. I want you to destroy it from the inside. Once the barrier's down, we'll step into the unknown. Where the coral's waiting for us. Walter. It's like he already knows where the coral convergence is. What makes him so confident? Maybe there's another coral person and they're talking to Walter. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy the reactor and disable the laser barrier. Raven, let's start by finding our way in. I don't know if these will be a problem later, but I'm taking them out regardless.
hell is that? I had to get multiple things. I guess just blowing up that one was it. That was a close one. Nope, looks like laser gen's fallen. That's a heavy, heavy pay amount, too. Wow. Plasma thrower. I think that's that thing he was using.
How is the trip underground, Walter? The enforcement system's silent, at least. Tried to take 621 with it. Good thing it failed. Well, that deals with the PCA, then. What about the corpse? Archibus told us to wait before entering Terra Incognita. So you're close, then. The corpse won't be helping each other over the finish line. Yeah. Archibus wants Balaam out of the picture first. Looks like Archibus is gonna win the race no matter what. Short term, maybe. But I think 621's going to be the key in the end. And that's why I shouldn't be the one to choose which jobs we take. Sounds risky. Our friends must be getting antsy. Maybe. But I think 621's got friends to worry about, too. So I wonder if I'm gonna start, if like, Handler's gonna, Walter basically lets me go, and I make my own choices. You've got a request from the Liberation Front to go with the order from Archibus. It was sent by Metal Flatwell. He's the de facto leader of the Liberation Front, and he wants to meet you. One new message. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. S ranks. Your records have been updated. S rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. You will now face the best of the best. We wish you luck on the difficult road to mastery. Let's do it. King, Aster Crown, an independent merc who arrived on Rubicon at the time that the core response was rediscovered. Held to be a member of Branch, the hacktivist collective, he's said to have confounded an entire fleet of heavy warships in a solo diversionary maneuver during the attack on Station 31. Made it a rotating group of four people, and King is believed to be the oldest of the current roster. I mean, I've taken down plenty of warships too, this guy ain't the only one. Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number three. Only the best remain. Subject AC, Aster Crown. Call sign, King. It's a cool looking AC. Really like the blue and gray. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Jesus. I didn't even really see what that guy was using. Hang on, I'm going to fight him again. Because, to be honest, I'm not even sure what he had. There's only three anyway. I mean, I guess I could have just looked at the data, but... Main system. Activating combat mode. So it looks like a kinetic rifle. He has that little handgun. A shield. Oh, wow. Why am I working that?
that puts out a ton of damage. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. I'm still not even sure. I, I couldn't. It's like that's such an intense fight. I can barely even pay attention to, like, environmentally what's happening. I'm just like focused on surviving. Make a look at his data. Master Crown. Uh, Sampu Harris. So I'm missing certain parts. That looks like some type of rifle. And then the machine gun. I don't know what those are, but that was getting cooked by him. I'm not sure what that is either. That's definitely a build I'm going to want to check out later. G1 Michigan. Commander of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group says Sea Squad, took up leadership after a career as the commander of the Furlonged Armed Fleet. Now he earned a reputation as a merchless, heavy-handed ogre of a man, and he was equally feared by friend and foe alike, and whom has hell on four legs. Apparently he has posted a bounty on his own head, the stipulation that half the reward money to be distributed among his former comrades at Furlong. Jeez. This guy's a wild one. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Number two, rank S. It's got the disc launcher, and then double rocket launchers, and a minigun. Subject AC, Liger tail. Call sign, Gun 1, Michigan. Noticing a lot of quads in the top ranks. Main system, activating combat mode. Damn tetrapods, man. When I'm getting the stagger, I'm out of the range that I need to actually hit my pile bunker. Guys are S rank for a reason. Destroyed. Your next opponent stands at the apex of the arena. Kind of want to fight him again. I don't know. I'm having these. These are like actually just really fun fights. Compared to a lot of the arenas, these are intense. Arena 
combat after Let's see how you perform against this. I think this has been the AC that ever since I made it. Still a close fight, but the later finishes supreme always. Target destroyed. Your next opponent stands at the apex of the arena. V1, Freud, commander of the Vespers, an ace pilot who achieved an astonishing 94.7% mission success rate during the Island 4 disturbance. He's widely suspected to be a recipient of repeated adjustments, much like Snail. However, the real Freud is simply an ordinary human, a man who enjoys piloting his AC and making incremental improvements on his daily sorties. Final Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. This will be the last evaluation. It's that sword you got there. Subject AC, locksmith. Call sign V1, Freud. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Dash. There it is. Damn. That's why the base pulse plate is so good, man. The range on that. Like, right when, like, the Tom wouldn't have hit that. The laser blade wouldn't have hit that. But the pulse blade got his ass. Target destroyed. This concludes all evaluations. We thank you for your cooperation. Cleared all combat aptitude evaluation programs in the arena. Laser drone. That's what he was firing up in the air. I wonder if there's like secret arenas. I'm guessing not because I got the achievement. Congratulations. You have completed all ranks. Though these encounters may be simulated, you have reached the apex of our roster. We would be grateful were you to aid us in our research and development. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. See, what would be cool is if you could upload your AC and then other people could fight it. That would be badass. See, laser drones when launched, they fire. Uh, surrounding machines provide supporting laser fire. They also pursue their targets. Neat. Those pursue, whereas the laser turret does not. And I also have those as left back units. I could have laser turrets here, and on the right back, I could have laser drones. 
I mean, either way, I'm gonna pick those up with some badass. I think that was the only thing to buy there. Well, damn. Look at the arena. Still, I have a feeling that chainsaw thing is probably hidden somewhere. Same with soup. I haven't found soup yet. Lots of parts that I want that I do not have. Decision. Eliminate Michigan, the Red Gun's top commanding officer, and destroy the Red Gun's main MT force. Or eliminate Hawkins and Patter, accompanied by friendly craft. I mean, well, more, more than likely, I'll, I'll probably end up doing this one. I'm going to listen to both, but I kind of already aligned myself with the Vespers previously, so I think it makes sense to just, you know, this is essentially the Vesper playthrough, and then on New Game Plus, I can uh, align myself with them. But either way, wrapping things up, and we'll catch you all soon with another mission.